Hi, Kiwi listeners. Let's learn sumo. I'm Clayton. Welcome to the podcast. Don't forget to join me on X, Twitter at Let's Learn Sumo or Instagram. Drop me a message on YouTube if you wish to have a chat, ask me a question. Let's move on to day 11, Osaka Harubasho, the spring tournament, which is throwing up some weird results. They do say it's a bit of a strange tournament, and as you would understand, I only did an episode last night, and I normally leave it two or three days, but uh, like all sports, sometimes a diamond, some days a stone, and tonight was a diamond of sumo fights. Uh, Look, we'll concentrate on some of the upper levels tonight. Uh, We will get to Takeru Fuji and Onosato. Just quickly, let's go through some of the earlier ones. Midori Fuji defeated Shodai third night in a row, third Karasakashi in a row, third Karasakashi straight off the touchy eye. What the hell was Shodai doing? Did he not see it coming (laughs) a mile away? Go, Midori Fuji. Uh, Look, he's only got a couple more to get. Uh, I think he's got three fights to get his Kachikoshi. He's really struggling early in this tournament. A little bit unlucky. Fighting well, just a bit unlucky getting beaten by bigger guys. So, Onosho versus Hiradumi. Now, Hiradumi is coming after his win over the Ozeki last night. But that being said, beating Kirishima at the moment doesn't appear to be a difficult thing to do. Anyway, he took a bit of confidence out of that. Uh, Onosho and Hiradumi, they hit hard, but Onosho doesn't quite get any sort of grip. And he pushes Hiradumi back to the bales with a bit of a half-body grip. But Hiradumi, the pirate, he twisted. He got a Tsukiyotoshi diagonal body thrust down for the win right at the bales. It was a pretty good win by Hiradumi. Good um, good movement there. Tobizaru versus Meise. Look, uh, go back and watch Meise's fight against Asanayama yesterday. Really good fight. Uh, probably a little bit tired after that one. Tobizaru returns after his one-day absence with a stomach illness, Is if you get my meaning. Uh, look, really big thrust by Maysay to get Tobizaru back to the bales off the touchy eye. He's under serious pressure of Sapari hits from Maysay. But Tobizaru, look, to be honest, he recovers. He got a really good rear one-handed grip as Maysay got the opposite. And he looked to throw Tobizaru over. They both got over together at the bales, went over face first. Maysay hit first and then Tobizaru. Tobizaru for the win. He comes up a little bit bloody on the face. He took a fair hit. Uh, He looked like he was a little bit stunned. May say he was looking for a mono E, but the Gumbai was pointed at Tobizaru, so the win stands. Uh, Yori Tayoshi, frontal cross grip knockdown. Uh, Look, you could have called it a Sukiyanage. You could have called it a Kotanage. I would have been happy with any of those. Tobizaru goes six and five. May say four and seven. Look, four and seven doesn't really... Reflect Maysay's tournament, you know. I, I think he's fought well. Certainly, he had a good good tournament in uh, January. He's done well here. I think he's just been a bit unlucky, to be honest. Uh, he's had some really good fights. And uh, so, look, he's in deep strife now. He's on wood. He needs to win all of his matches going forward. Asanyama versus Oho. Good sumo by Asanyama. He's charged hard to drive Oho back. Oho was on the defensive. Tried to go a little bit back up laterally, but he couldn't establish any sort of forward momentum. And Asanyama drove him out. Yodakiri. Uh, Atami Fuji versus Ura. Atami Fuji got a really good head-on hit for, on Ura. Ura kind of went into this touchy eye a little bit higher than he normally does, a little bit more upright. Um, forced Ura back to the Tawara Bales. Ura bent back like a boomerang. Uh, really went backwards a long way, and I thought, you can't recover from that. But amazingly, he recovered with a big forward push and a sideways movement. Unfortunately, he got locked up by Tami Fuji. Our atomic man got hold of him, drove him back to the bales, lifted him up and out of the ring for a suridashi lift out. A uh, bit unlucky there, Ura. Nishikigi and oh, Onosho is the next. Abi and Shonanumi. Abi with a good thrusting attack for the win. Uh, it was a fairly quick win there. Hoshoryu versus Daesho. Now, this was a good fight. Very busy, hectic fight. Hashoryu had to work hard. 
I think he nearly went face first about two or three times, but he has such good balance uh, and good foot movement that he saved himself. As one point, I'm, I'm sure his foot feet got about six feet apart to save himself. Anyway, he got uh, a in the end he got uh, prevented Daosho's thrusting, kept up in his face. He did try for a leg pick, but he couldn't get that grip. He then tried, uh, got a thrust down Hatakikomi attempt from Daesho, uh, and his balance kept him up as he spread wide to catch it. Hoshoryu kept moving around the ring. He kept in Daesho's face, and he finally got a movement and pulled down uh, on Daesho uh, for a Tsukiyotoshi diagonal thrust down. Got his Kachikoshi. That's his eight wins. He'll be happy with that. He'll probably be a little bit unhappy he's not in the the big race at the moment. He's still a couple of, probably two or three off uh, the win there. So I think he's probably with only four, I think four days to go, I think he's uh, probably out of the race at this point. Kirishima, who's in dire straits versus Wakamoto Haru. Uh, Wakamoto Haru comes up off the touchy eye, gets his favourite grip on Kirishima. And once he got it, he just powered up and drove Kirishima back for Yorikiri. Look, I just, Kirishima just didn't seem to have any drive, didn't seem to have any defence whatsoever once uh, Wakamoto Haru got that grip. Uh, Kirishima is now officially Karaban Ozeki for May. He has racked up enough losses for that to occur. Next up, the big fight of the night, Takeda Fuji, our Magashira 17, versus Shin Ozeki Kotonowaka. Takeda Fuji on 10 and 0 going into this fight. If he got 11 wins on debut, he will equal will equal the great Taiho's record of 11 wins on debut. So, really big hit at the Tachi Ai Koto Shoho, uh, Koto no Waka with that big fleshy body pretty much uh, absorbed most of that hit, but it shows you how much of a hitter that Takeda Fuji is that it kind of, I wouldn't say stunned Koto Nowaka, but it certainly put him off balance a little bit. And Takeda Fuji seemed to recover just that moment quicker. He recovered, drove hard, and Koto Nowaka went out after being slightly slower. What a drive by Takeda Fuji. He is the real deal. That is pure power sumo. He is two wins in front at this point. He was waiting for Onosato to fight Takakesho, which would, if Onosato lost tonight, would have given him a three-win lead with only four days to go. Uh, but either way, he got his Taiho uh, record equaling 11 consecutive wins on debut. His interview afterwards said he was moving well, he was happy to beat the Ozeki, and he is pretty happy to beat the uh, match the accomplishment of uh, Taiho's record. Anyway, Onosato comes up against our battle hamster Takakesho to fight, to stay two wins behind. And look, big hit, massively strong against the Ozeki. He took it up to Takakesho and drove the Ozeki back so hard that the Ozeki Takakesho pretty much landed on the fall in the second row what a hit, what a drive out. That gets him two wins behind uh, Takeda Fuji. He is still in the race with uh, Takeda Fuji to meet uh, Hoshoryu tomorrow, which will be quite the test. Not sure how Hoshoryu will deal with uh, Takeda Fuji. Uh, I don't know that uh, trying to get onto his belt and be patient is going to be the way to beat him. Either way, that was quite the night of sumo. Look, a little bit of news just on Miyagino Stable. Uh, I see a rumour today that uh, Miyagino Stable is likely to be uh, closed up and merged. Uh, I'm told that all of the members and the Oyakata Hakoho and his uh, helper Ishiura will be going to Asakayama Baya. Um, with former Ozeki Kao. Look, the initial proposal was to split the team up and move the uh, various rikshi around, but uh, they decided that uh, it's best to keep them and their masters all together. Uh, apparently, this will occur after the current basho. Not official just at this moment. Uh, I would state a strong rumour at this point uh, that that's likely to uh, be the outcome. Asakayama, look, it's a good stable. I think that's probably a decent outcome if 
uh, Hakuho doesn't have the ability to control and run and supervise a bayer in the, the manner which it is. I've heard other Oyakata basically say it is a 24-hour job. You must be 100% focused. It is your life to be an Oyakata. And unfortunately, Hakuho, he's got his fingers in a lot of pies, the Hakuho Cup and various other things. I just don't think he's got the time and uh, mind to supervise in the way he has, and that's the outcome of Hokseho. On the matter of Hokseho, uh, just keep an eye out. I'm currently working on a special episode on the history of Hokseho and uh, a little mini documentary. Hope you hang around for that one and join me at that little documentary. Anyway, that's it for day 11. What a day of sumo. Uh, we've got to, we'll come back in a day or two and we'll look at who's got Kachikoshi, who's got Makekoshi. Uh, going into the last two days or so, and where Takedo Fuji, our hot favourite, and Onosato, who's chasing him hard, where they are at the final tournament. Hakiwa listeners, join me again. Let's learn sumo.